In the reader, Bernard Schlink's novel about love and dignity in the face of the Holocaust, there is a scene where the main character confronts the cruelty of indifference as motivation for murder. Human beings considered useless can be carelessly disposed of. As a child of a Holocaust survivor, it is particularly horrifying for me to witness how industrial civilization continues to harness apathy and contempt of difference. My ancestral memory, my cellular memory, tells me we must reconsider waste in terms of symbiotic kinship. A pencil, a rubber band, a square of toilet paper, a fruit tree, a family pet, a friend, a human friend, or a stranger in a distant land, all connected to us as kin. What if we didn't see these objects or subjects? What if we didn't see them as superfluous? What if we actually understood where they could from, where they came from, their meanings as valuable, where they came from, and where they collectively they are going? I'm asking you to imagine the impossible. Imagine our epigenetic potential, a profound shift in how we are evolving, in how we can co-evolve.